Yeah, that's right. Now, to your right a little bit. Oh, 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 oh hello. Oh. And, and welcome, welcome to the Wildlife, Wildlife Warriors. Hello, hello, guys. I'm glad they're having Ooh. fun. In fact, Claws, you're looking particularly happy today. Yep. I'm really excited about today's story because it's about one of me mates. <laughs> no wonder it's in danger. Oh, don't be like that, Davo. Yes, in fact, today's story is about a very rare little creature indeed. It's called the Western Swamp Tortoise. Well, they live in Australia, like us koalas, and there's not many places where they can still be found. Oh, crikey, that sounds pretty serious. It is, because there are only two little swamps where they still live in the wild at a place called Perth in Western Australia. Yep, and every day it's mud bath time for the Western Swamp Tortoise. Frankly, I'd rather be up a tree, but they seem to like it. Well, that's because that's where they find their food, you see? Insects and tadpoles, the little creatures that you find in a swamp. Well, I hope all the wildlife warriors in Perth are really looking after those swamps. Well, they are now, Davo, but for a long time the swamps were being filled in and houses and roads were being built over the top of them. <gasps> Oh, crikey, that would make it hard for a tortoise to find a home. And that's not all, Davo. Many were run over by cars as they went looking for water. And even when they found a place to live, foxes would come and eat their eggs. That's a real problem, because the Western Swamp Tortoise takes a long time to get old enough to lay eggs, so it doesn't have many babies. But the last problem has nothing to do with people. The weather has also been against the poor old tortoise. If there's no rain, the swamps dry up and the tortoise shell cracks and the babies can die. Whoop, that's it, that's it. Where's my bike? I'm off to the swamp to find out and sort this out myself. Well, settle down a minute, Davo. You haven't heard the whole story yet. And you turning up would be the second disaster to hit the tortoise. Wildlife warriors in Australia haven't given up the fight to save the Western Swamp Tortoise. They're keeping the ones that are left as safe as they can. The Perth Zoo and the University of Western Australia have fenced off the remaining swamps. Oh, so the foxes can't get in and there are no cars to run them over. That's right, Davo. And the scientists will also make sure there's plenty of food and water for them as well. With all the protection, it's hoped that they start laying lots and lots of eggs and have heaps of babies. Oh, oh look, there's one being hatched now. at the Perth Zoo. And when the little tortoises are big and strong, they can be put back into the swamps. But only into the protected areas where they can't be hurt. Yay! Oh, put my bike away. They look as if they're on the right track now. They sure are, Davo. So, our Wildlife Warrior Medal of Honour goes to the Perth Zoo for fighting so hard to save the Western Swamp Tortoise. Oh, yeah. Bravo. So, so don't forget, kids, you too can be wildlife warriors. Well done, Davo. And now, guys, once again, it's time for us to go. That's it from Wildlife Warriors. And remember, love, love the Earth because, because she, she loves, loves you. you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Oh, no, it's only a pretend one. Of course. Of course.